it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below definitely someone who's watching spying looking you know a lot of stalking but no communication okay so there is someone here who's watching you from a distance okay and they're looking at you but they're not talking okay someone who knows what they want but they're holding back and waiting for the right time to communicate with you but with the five of swords and reverse you're definitely someone you were dealing with who's who's constantly sabotage the connection okay and this person has had their guard up throughout with you which made you walk away from them but now they want to come back towards you Four of Swords in reverse. You're someone coming out of isolation, wanting to talk. <coughs> All right. How do you see yourself in this connection, Taurus? King of Pentacles in reverse. You're you're focused on your money, your goals, your career. Okay, your business. <coughs> Give me one more card. How does Taurus see themselves in this connection? Five of Wands in reverse here. Yeah, it looks like you have given up on a person. Okay. These two cards, this combination tells me you've given up on a person. Okay. Because you, uh, this person probably, uh, there was a lot of competition. Okay. There were too many uh, competitors. Okay. And this person probably put you in a spot where you didn't realize where you stood. And probably this person brought a lot of drama and chaos in your life. And you've given up on this person. Okay. You'd rather focus on yourself and your... Um, business or your profession or whatever anything but the relationship is what your focus is okay but you you're no longer fighting for this person tell me about this person how does this person see themselves in this connection <coughs> eight of pentacles and the king of cups in reverse here this person does have a lot of love for you all right with the temperance here you know what taurus you're dealing with someone who's slow okay slow as fuck very slow moving too patient too slow okay that's what this person is doing here <clears throat> with the eight of pentacles here i feel that this person is very much working on themselves okay i think this is someone who's coming back towards you okay who screwed up okay who played a lot of mind games with you but they're working on themselves and by working on themselves, they're wanting to work on this relationship, okay? Although with the King of Cups in reverse here, this is someone who's not showing you how much they love you, okay? So the love is there, but they're just not expressing it, okay? They're being very cold, very detached right now, okay? Because their focus is also money. Your focus is also money, okay? So I think you're both, you on the other hand, I feel you're giving up on this, okay? Because you're fed up. This person, on the other hand, is trying to work on themselves to better in the, better themselves. I'm getting they're into this high vibrational energy, okay, where uh, they're just growing, okay, they're growing. But right now, they're shut off emotionally. <clears throat> Tell me, uh, why is the five of wands in reverse on this on Taurus's side? Why is Taurus giving up? Why is the five of wands in reverse here? Six of Cups, yeah, see, you have the best of memories with this person here, okay? You love them, you miss them, okay? This is your soulmate. It's a strong soulmate connection. But yeah, you just have to give up on them, okay? Because there was too much chaos that they were bringing into your life. <coughs> Either there were too many people interfering in your connection, or there was just constant conflict. You guys were just not on the same page. All right, why is this person the King of Cups in reverse? The Shadow side. That's, that's the Death card here. <clears throat> this person's uh, going through a transformation. They are. I think that's what the shadow side is. Sorry, my bad. The shadow side is the devil card here. See, that's what's happening here. This person is very, very codependent, okay? There's some kind of fear that's holding this person back and this person tends to uh, feel very stuck, okay? I think this person has a very... Um, they have a habit of not expressing their emotions. What I'm also getting here is that this person that you're dealing with, right? This person gets into a relationship, but the moment it gets serious or where they know they need to be emotionally vulnerable, it's, they, they fear that, okay? And that's when they sabotage the connection and they walk away. So this person could have screwed a lot of potential relationships like that because of this devil card here, okay? This is something that's lingering, okay? It's going on behind the scenes, which you probably don't know about. You, This person could probably come out as a player to you, but actually there is a love that this person has a lot of love that this person has for you but it's just 
the side that, that's see that's what eight of pentacles that's what they're trying to work on okay they're trying to open up they're trying to uh, not have any more trust issues and they're trying to um, let go of whatever happened in the past okay this person could have had quite a terrible past in the future in the um, terrible past okay i don't know why i can't talk mercury retrograde sorry about that but okay <clears throat> let's go let's keep going how do you view this person taurus the sun this person makes you very very happy you want this emotional happiness with them you want growth expansion this person clearly makes you very happy <clears throat> one more card for the sun why is the sun here why is the sun here Strength in reverse, yeah, but you're no longer fighting for this, okay? You're tired of dealing with the situation over and over and over again. You're tired, frustrated, giving up, you're surrendering, okay? Okay, like I said, this person means a lot to you, okay? Soulmate connection, but you're just fed up. You're like, you know what, I'm done. And, and that's all because of the devil card here. This person could have done this over and over again, okay? And this is a very self-sabotaging energy that they have. And I think that's exactly what they're trying to work on. How does this person view you, Taurus? <coughs> How does this person view you? <clears throat> yeah, they view you as someone with the king of swords here who's being very cold, icy, detached, but someone who's speaking their truth and staying to their truth, okay? They view you as someone who's, again, I'm being very logical, okay? Well, probably this is something that you've never been. But this time around, okay, they see you as someone very logical. I'm the four of cups in reverse here. They do see you as someone who's giving up on them, but someone who they have a missed opportunity with, okay? They know that they could have done a lot, okay? But right now, they're going to leave this a missed opportunity, okay? But they view you as someone who's giving up on them. No longer uh, waiting and moping, okay? They see you as someone who's probably getting out of that low vibration energy and moving forward, okay? Because with the king of swords here, they see you as someone who's cut them out, okay? You're just probably... Uh, just being, I'm, I'm getting very detached, okay, but 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this person does view you as someone they want marriage with, commitment, long term with, okay, they view you as marriage material, but for right now, it's like they're so helpless, and they're choosing to work on themselves, so that they can come towards you with the right energy, but, but meanwhile, they're watching you, they're keeping an eye on you for sure, <clears throat> the magician came out, they're manifesting you, they are, tell me why is all this happening, tell me why is all this happening, Tell me why is all this happening? Wow. Ace of Cups with the High Priestess in reverse here. If there's someone here who's giving you the silent treatment, Taurus, or if you're doing this to this person, someone's finally going to break their silence, okay? And there's going to be a new emotional cycle, a new emotional beginning that you're going to have with this person, or this is what this person wants with you. That's why all this is happening. Someone wants to finally open up emotionally. I think it's this person here who's trying to work on themselves, okay? And someone's going to finally come out of that uh, silent treatment, and they're going to start talking, okay? Something's going to be revealed. And what's going to be revealed is that this person wants a brand new beginning with you. All right. <clears throat> okay. What's the image? Um, tell me, what is the best potential outcome for this spread? What's the best potential outcome for this spread? Four of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, there is communication coming in. Give me one more card for the outcome. There is communication. Come on, give me one more card for the outcome. Seven of Swords, yeah. See, there is communication coming in, but see, it's going to be like you're going to be very torn, okay? I feel that Four of Swords in reverse here, there's someone here again, like I said, right? Someone who's coming to talk to you. This person's finally uh, got clarity about what they wanted. There's someone who's taken a break. Okay, you could be absolutely no communication with someone you're dealing with. But this person's finally coming to talk to you. But with the Seven of Swords, I feel this person's still being deceptive. You know what I'm getting? When this, um, you know what? Let me see. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Before I say anything more, you know, clarifications can change the entire message, right? Why is the Seven of Swords here? I know what this means, but I just want to clarify one more time. Five of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting, Taurus? This person's coming to talk to you. You're going to hide your feelings, okay? You're going to be very deceptive with the way you feel because we have the five of cups in reverse here. I think you're just going to um, 
you're not being very open or you're not being very truthful and honest about your feelings with this person you're gonna hide your feelings when this person comes in because with the five of cups in reverse here i feel there's been a lot of remorse and regret around the situation you've been crying over spilt milk but now finally i think because you're moving on seriously i don't know why i got that i feel you're moving on you know i think you know you know i feel this person's gonna take a while before they come back towards you okay You've grieved a lot about this. You've grieved this loss, okay? But I feel you're letting go of the past, okay? You've forgiven this person and you're no longer concerned and bothered about this person anymore. That's why the Seven of Swords here. I mean, they're ready to open up. They're ready to be honest with you, okay? But I don't think you're going to entertain this person when they come in. <clears throat> Look, because you're giving up. I see so much of giving up, giving up, giving up on your side, Taurus. Whilst this person is working on this, they're wanting and hoping a reconciliation, wanting to come towards you. They even see you as someone who's going to be cold and detached. So they're not going to be surprised with the kind of um, coldness that you're going to give to this person, okay? But they're coming in, but I feel you're moving on, okay? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this video resonates with you. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.